Hi, my name is Alex Peters. I'm an LR from Burnaby, and I'm the chair of the RA Agenda Committee and the BCTF Resolutions Committee. Every year, the BCTF Rep Assembly, or RA, elects local reps from around the province to be members of the RA Agenda Committee. So what is the RA Agenda Committee? The RA Agenda Committee works with the elected chairs of the RA, as well as the BCTF President, to create the agenda for the RA and deal with resolutions, recommendations, and amendments that occur at the meeting. At the RA, the members of the Agenda Committee also move all recommendations in the BCTF Executive, as the BCTF Executive are not voting members of the RA, so they can't vote or move motions. But the BCTF AGM is a little bit different. The AGM is the President's meeting, so the BCTF EC usually appoints the RA Agenda Committee to serve as the Resolutions Committee at the AGM. The BCTF President sets the agenda for the AGM, so at the AGM, the Resolutions Committee only deals with recommendations, resolutions, amendments, new motions, and the list of unfinished business. So what are the kind of motions that will occur at the meeting? So there are two terms used for motions at the AGM. Recommendations are those that come to the AGM from the Executive Committee, and resolutions are the ones that come from locals. You can find all of the recommendations and resolutions in the Reports and Resolutions booklet, or the r r book for short. As a delegate, you can propose amendments. Delegates at the AGM can propose amendments to either recommendations or resolutions. They can also propose amendments to the order of the agenda. An amendment is when you want to change the wording of a recommendation, resolution, or other motion. However, there's one exception. Special resolutions like the ones that propose changes to BCTF bylaws cannot be amended. So how do you go about making an amendment? To propose an amendment, you can use the BCTF amendment form on Event Mobi and on the BCTF website. You need to use the form if you want to submit amendments, alternate wording, or new motions. Remember, the new motions need to have risen from the business of the meeting or be urgent and not have been able to be submitted on time. Alternate wording is only if you or your local are moving a resolution and you've decided to move it with alternate wording. If the resolution is from another local, you need to submit an amendment. So how do you contact the members of the Resolutions Committee? You can also use the amendment form to contact the committee by putting your question in the box at the bottom. This is a good way to contact the committee if a meeting is online, if it's during a break, or there's no one at the table, or there's a big line and you don't want to wait. During the session of in-person meetings, the resolutions or agenda committee have a table set up where you can go to ask for help with the wording of amendments. However, the actual amendment still needs to be submitted via the form. Let's talk about order. Our job is to decide if an amendment is in order, which means if it's allowed to come to the floor based on the BCTF rules of order. However, the chair at the time you move your amendment will be the person who actually rules if it's in order or not. How do we find out if it's in order? If we don't think your amendment is in order, we will contact you to let you know why and help you fix it to make it in order. You're submitting your amendment so we can let you know if it's in order, and also so the tech crew will have it ready to go on the screen. But you'll still need to get on the speaker's list to move your amendment when it's your turn to speak. Things to think about when you're completing the form. When you're completing the form, please make sure you put your first and last name as well as the seconder's first and last name, the best phone number to contact you, and the exact wording of what you want the amendment to look like. This really helps the people behind the scenes make sure the correct wording gets posted on the screen. If you're moving something that you know will be in committee, such as bargaining item, you can just put your name as the seconder. Please, 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 if you submit a form, make sure to answer your phone if an unknown number calls. It can be really frustrating if we're calling from one of our personal cell phones and no one answers the phone. We really want to help you.